This morning, we're learning about yoga for beginners. Tia Trudgeon joins us live from Rise Up Yoga Studio in Ishpeming. Tia, instructors there say yoga is for everybody. Do you really think it is? I really do, and I mean there are a number of props that can be used to help modify different poses so that truly anybody can feel the effects of that. And then not only that, the yoga just is, is so broad that it really can be modified to meet anybody's needs or abilities. Now I'm here with Kelly Sosha to talk about how these props might help you. So picture this, you walk into a yoga studio for the first time, you see all these props, mats, bolsters, pads, you don't know what to do with them. Kelly's here to explain. Absolutely. So when you walk into most yoga studios, these will be accessible to you. Some mm -hmm. yoga studios, maybe in bigger cities or in other locations, um, you may have to pay like a rental fee. And mm -hmm. some people like to bring their own props in, but we do provide them here at Rise. And as you can see, we have a kind of an array of different things. But I think the first and foremost we need to keep in mind is that these are here to assist you and help you. So they are not like, um, I use the multiplication mm -hmm. table on my tests and I cheated. These are not cheats. Yeah. <laughs> these are literally being able to access poses. So like for example, let's grab our block. So a block has three different levels. We're going to take our right hand and just lift it up high and let's turn this way. Oh, this way. Oh, this Sorry. Way. There we go. And we're going to take that right arm down to the floor, kind of behind that right foot. <clears throat> and we'll angle that foot in this back direction here. So we're kind of in a triangle pose here. Reach that left arm up high. Now you can see, Tia, your mm -hmm. hand is able to touch the floor because you have that block. Now it's got three levels. Let's take it to the next level, make it the long way. And as you get better with flexibility, maybe even flip it to the shortest way. As you continue to get more flexible, now pop it right out of the way. Maybe you get to the point where you can put your hands on the ground. So you can see how the block is gonna assist you in being able to gain accessibility. It's kind of an extension of your body. Now another way that we can use this bolster is if we place it on the floor or this block is um, kind of lining it up with your spine. <clears throat> and extending out, we're kind of calling this a, this is a fish pose, and many people will place their arms here. Um, I like to put my arms out nice and wide and get that stretch through that open heart space, and you can kind of feel that stretch. You feel that happening? Oh, I do. Yeah, take a deep breath, and then exhale. <sighs> Slowly bring those elbows in and rise up so as to not get lightheaded. So that's our block. Let's grab the bolster real quick, Tia. Bolster can be used in a child's pose position, so if you don't have that flexibility to put your forehead on the floor, you can place this underneath your chest and use this to bring the floor up to you. And even more so, if you really don't have the flexibility, you can tuck at the chest and use the bolster to kind of find that accessibility to the pose here. So the bolster is a beautiful option for being able to find that comfort in poses. Well, thank you for explaining these to me. We have, uh, that, I'm getting the wrap up signal, so we'll have yeah. to carry on our conversation in about 30 minutes. So check back, uh, check back in with us in about a half hour. We're going to cover straps, these pads, and just debunk some more yoga myths for beginners. Oh. All right, you're looking really good out there, yeah. Tia, and uh, I love props in yoga. I don't think there's any shame in using them, <laughs> so I love that that's where you started. I think we should all use them. It just makes the poses feel good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they Better. do. Work I want to do some yoga now. <laughs> all right. We're